Hello, and welcome to an episode of I'm Going to Make an Entire Collection of Clothing Inspired by the Goddess Demeter Costume that I made in the previous video. Um, technically this video is only one piece of that collection, a vest I made that was inspired by the corset. My design process starts with the sketch. Usually, sometimes I just start sewing and see where it takes me. But this time I started with a sketch so that I could work out all the basic design details that I wanted that would incorporate the fabrics that I really wanted to use. Which in this case was a beautiful wool fabric that I have that I have been super excited to use. And I'm pretty sure I bought it at Mood but I got it on a fabric shopping excursion last time I was in New York and I went to a lot of stores and bought a lot of fabric. Sorry, bank account. But I'm pretty sure it was one of the wools that I bought while I was at Mood. Anyway, after my sketch mostly resembled the idea floating around inside my brain, I made a mock-up to make sure everything was perfect. Then I got set to cutting out the fabric the interfacing and the lining, which is a super soft silk that I dye myself. To keep myself from sewing pieces together that don't belong together and then having to spend hours ripping those pieces back apart again, I lay all of the pieces out on my sewing table in the correct order and then I just work my way across. Then I attach the inner facing to the fashion fabric. Then I go ahead and quilt the lining, which um, is really just sewing vertical lines down each piece, attaching the lining to the fashion fabric while um, sandwiching the inner facing between. I do it this way instead of attaching the lining at the end because I really love the look and the feel of a quilted lining. Once that's all sewn up and looking pretty, I attach the zipper to the front and then I make sure it's perfect. And then I flip it over and put the grommets in the back so that I can lace it up all corset-like. Then I need to make sure the inside is as beautiful as the outside, so I iron down all of the edges of the lining so that the raw edges go inside, and then I hand stitch those seams down. Next, I cut miles and miles and miles of bias tape and I sew them along the bottom, forgetting completely about the boning, so I have to go back and take out the stitches that go over where I decided to add boning. Then I insert the boning in the strips and then I close the bias binding back up. I finish by folding the binding around to the other side and I hand sew it down. Finally, my vest is done. I made other versions in different fabrics and colors, and here they are graciously being modeled by friends of mine that agreed to do me a favor before asking what that favor was. I'm just kidding. They knew what they were getting themselves into. They're just awesome enough to help me out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.